Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSG81 and today <laughs> this is a very special video because this is my very first reissue. I haven't gotten any reissue before and it is none other than the Mayfax uh, Wurin <laughs> or Tiger Stripe Wurin or some of you guys like to call him the Yellow Wurin. Uh, yes, I know you must be wondering why am I showing you the back uh, instead of the front. So this is a very worrisome uh, figures for me because I have seen so many of you who have gotten him uh, with the you know the this uh, shoulder pad uh, being misaligned yeah, being placed the other way around and some of you guys tried to remove it and it broken uh, pain got smeared as well so this tiger strap on his uh, body is being painted black instead of blue wow there are so many things of that and if you watch my shots there is a sound yes and i'm still hearing it now so let's check out the front <laughs> first thing i see the tiger stripe is not being painted black so it's good then the second one the paint smear uh, which is hard to see from here i got to remove the figure first and the third one is the shoulder pad i think it didn't misplace it for mine yeah i still see in i think it's a uh, in correct positions and the thing that is uh i'm not sure why is it let's find out oh okay i kind of see it now the stand clamp okay how does this get loosened up because i remember it's being placed in a plastic this is all good at least nothing broken there it got me worried for a while you can see it looks very good with the blue and i just love uh, all this very comic style there because it is the comic versions and these are the boss you can see the cool worry in this pose and right over here i think it's one of the best pose for this worrying the back uh we have seen just now so it does include a lot of cool poses and also all the accessory that it comes in and the head as well so let's get him out Okay, before we check out the figure, I have found out why this clip actually slipped out. It's because uh, I think they didn't stick it properly. You can see that it's actually opened up by right. It should be sealed. Okay, so this is the Tiger Stripe Wolverine's right out of the box. Okay, I have not touched anything. I have not changed anything. So let's really, really check out the issue. So the first one is they actually mentioned the shoulder pad, which is the blue one here was actually uh, put wrongly or they have received the same one i'm not sure about that but from the look of mine uh seems to be okay and the next one is um some of you guys actually receive some that uh, have some you know paint scrub on it uh especially on here so uh with the blue so let's check mine hopefully not because this is what all this plastic is for to you know make sure that the paint doesn't go over uh, i think i'm pretty lucky have not seen anything so far <laughs> keeping my finger crossed yeah so i think that's fine as well the third thing is this stripe some of you guys actually got it in black <laughs> i think mine is still very bluish which is again is good uh and the fourth thing of course is a clip just now i managed to find out that uh it's not something wrong so i think yep i'm pretty lucky <laughs> so let's take a closer look again my 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 he is beautiful now i know why every one of you go crazy for him yep let's hope that the big pool uh will have a huge jackman on this tiger stripe worry that will be pretty cool and let's take a look at his face yep seems to be all good now i don't have the original reissue because i kind of skip on it and i deeply regret it that's why i uh, got this reissue so i i couldn't comment on what's the changes they have made for this reissue but i assume it is exactly the same i just love the hair on his arm yep he's a very hairy guy here Oh, you are hairy like animal! Yeah, all the things. Wow, this is very nice as well. I just love this part. Yeah, it actually matches with this portion here. 
and yeah everything looks great just love the yellow and the blue in terms of overall looks i think this guy is beautiful and next we check out the articulation I'll start with the head so you can look to the right looks to the left looking up yep pretty good looking down is even better he have a separate neck on his own which is why you can see move pretty freely and for his arm you can turn 360 degrees here and this portion of course you can move it up and down but be very careful because the joint is just one pack here and some of you guys actually broken it which is very unfortunate so and he also have a butterfly joint so you can see the movement is pretty huge and let's see how well he can go up yep more than 90 degrees there and of course he does have a bicep shivels okay and a double joint elbow yep pretty good and his arm you can actually shivers around going up and down okay very big movement there and for his torso he have two points of articulations so you can actually you know just shivers around however you want to and for his waist of course you can also turn yep because mine is pretty new that's why it's quite <laughs> tight there and for his leg uh yep there's a slight pull down mechanism as you can see so by pulling down you can actually do a kick uh, about 90 degrees there and for the kick backwards because of his butt cheek it's not going to happen unfortunately so he does have a double joint knee yep pretty good and can he turn on this side uh just slightly oh he doesn't have a cut on his tights but you can still do some inner shivers okay and for his leg course there's a ball joint you can also shivers around going up and down side to side and he does comes with a toe hinge as well okay so let's see with the leg being pulled down how well he can do a split uh yeah about this pretty good pretty good but be very careful not to scrap off any of the blue paint on the yellow because it's going to be very obvious if you did okay so in terms of articulations I think this guy is pretty okay okay so let's move on to the accessory for this guy here i'll start with the hand as always so he just comes with a pair of close fit hand there's already on the figure pair of relaxed hand which looks pretty good and a pair of claw hands which is of course how can we have a worry without this beside this mask head it does comes with another two heads greening teeth mask head which looks awesome together with this unmasked head of logan which looks very good wow and lastly he just comes with this mask as well when you're using the unmasked head so you can just put it behind like he just unmasked it looks very neat okay so as you can see this wolverine comes with pretty limited accessories now let's put on some of these accessories onto him i'll start with the hands now i must admit that when the first time this guy got released i actually skip him because i just doesn't like this really straight uh claws <laughs> it just looks very odd as you can see it's just straightened as we know worrying claws are usually bended and uh, split apart so uh, i think that this is looking pretty bad but now that i have him wow this looks uh unique in its own way yeah this looks very nice as well at least it is something different let's see how it looks like with the angry head wow this does looks very good and this is looking even better with the mask behind him as you can see wow this is really neat cool do click on the likes button if you enjoy this review and next we'll move on to some size comparison i'd like to start off with some marvel legends so i do have marvel legends colossus right over here and also his best friend <laughs> deadpool okay so wolverine is supposed to be short so it seems to be on the right scale here and next we'll move on to some sh figures i do have this hawk right here from the avengers assemble as well as again <laughs> his best friend deadpool next i'd like to move on to some other brands i do have the mesco cyclops yeah which seems to be taller as well as the jada toys exclusive evil rule and next i would like to compare with all the worries that i have so back to marvel legends 
I do have this uh, worrying right over here as well as this movie versions of worrying I know you guys might have sensed something wrong <laughs> I have actually switched the head <laughs> yeah so it looks pretty good here <laughs> and next I like to compare with this amazing Yamaguchi worrying with a custom head as well as this uh, Nota Studio Logan wow which is much taller than him and lastly I like to compare with the brown Warren, okay as well as this Magneto comic versions wow I think they scale pretty well okay so my final verdict for this tiger stripe Warren is I'm just so glad that Mayfax decided to reissue him because it is just beautiful very classic very iconic look of Warren. so it's a big yes for you guys if you never get this one i think you should probably hunt this reissue down it is totally worth your money i do hope that you enjoy my review and i'll catch you guys again in my next video i hope you watch this video over here